In this tutorial, I'm going to briefly explain how you can use Excel to make this figure, namely make the johnson Neyman interaction figure. Before going to the Excel, let me briefly explain the example we're going to use. So we're going to use like, in this model, we're going to use like the one of IV is gender, another IV is social science score, I believe it is social science score, and the dependent variable is writing score. So the gender is binary, male versus female, and the social science score is a continuing variable, and the writing score is also continuing variable. And we're going to test the interaction effect between gender and social science score on the writing score. So this is the dependent variable. So let's shift to SPSS. So we're kind of SPSS. As you can see that for the, this is IB, this is another IB, and this is a DB. Notice that for this IV, it's used string rather than numerical variable. So we need to create a new variable that is numerical to, I mean, we need to do some recoding. So it's new file syntax, we can do that. And we can say that, okay, if female is female, then we agenda create a new variable called one and if you male equal male you can say that is zero is zero okay we use dummy coding here so we can run it so as you can see we go back come here we can see that there's a new variable is created so the first row is a female yes it's one and male is zero so now we have we are going to use this variable instead of this one as the independent variable so i assume that your spss already has the the macro the process macro and that's what we're going to use um, so we can like analysis regression process and so we're going to use the gender coding as the independent variable and then the um, short sign score as moderator and we'll just use 1000 is fine and writing score is dependent variable and we're going to notice that okay option we we'll say that this is Johnson Neyman okay so we go to the click okay so let's run it so as you can see that the interaction effect is significant so that's the basic the I mean the condition that we're going to do further analysis for the Johnson Neyman. And also you can see that in this output it shows that a cutoff point where that uh it transition from significant to non-significant. So it means that so the significant means that at the source size score when it is uh sixty point seven four. So it is below that we can see the p-value gender has significant effects, namely male and female has have different writing score. But beyond that, when the source size score is beyond 60.74, male and female do not differ in terms of their writing score. So now we have some basic idea. We know that its interaction effect is significant. Now we're going to use Excel to do the plotting. How can we do that? So let's go to the Excel. Okay, I let me just clean a bit here. Wait a minute. Let me miss one scratch. So the right hand side is the one we're going to achieve, and the left hand side is the one. I mean, the starting point. I'm going to I'm going to do that from scratch. So remember that for we learned that we need we can create a called male and female. That's the two the two labels for the x variable. Yes, the independent variable, and then we're going to say that we're going to create a b zero. The intercept and the B1. So remember that. So remember that in order to do the to plot the slope, we need to know the we need to know the slope, namely the effect of social science score on the writing. Okay, that's now get a bit tricky. Then the thing is that we need to pay attention to the coding, the dummy coding for the gender variable. And remember, go back to our syntax coding here that we have the male is zero, 
So that means that in this case, when which variable is zero, it means that is the regression coefficient is for that variable. Okay, let me tell you, explain it well. Okay, so now it's made zero. Okay, we go back to our SPSS output. We can see that. So in this case, the social social science score, this regression coefficient, is for male. Okay, so now we get the intercept seventeen point seven six and uh, zero point six two. That's what we need. The B zero. So that's seventy point seven six and zero point six two five. I guess that yeah we have here. So this is the intercept. This is the intercept, and this is the regression coefficient. Okay. Now we see. Okay. The thing is that now how can we get the intercept and the regression coefficient for the female. In order to do that, we need to reverse the coding for the dummy variable for the for this dummy variable, gender variable. How can I do that? So in, in this case, we need to reverse the coding that female is zero and male is one. So we need to run it again. So you can run it again. And then we're going to, so now we know that it reverse the coding. You can, you can see that now few male is zero, male is one. We reverse the coding. And then we do it again for the, we run again, use the male quarter process, we run the, use the model one, we run the interaction again. As you can see that changing the coding for the dummy variable doesn't change the interaction, the p value and the regression coefficient. As you can see that 0 0.20. Of course, it changes the direction because that's what's negative, but it's positive. But the p-value is the same, 0 0.0331, 0 0.0331. So it doesn't change the interaction item, but it changes the, the, the intercept and the slope. As you can see that it was 17, but now it's 32 and 0 0.42. This is for the what? For the female. So as long as which variable, that variable is 0, then the slope is for that variable. So now we are like, we can say that 70, that's the intercept, and this is slope. Okay, now we have two intercept and two slope. That means that we can plot two lines, yes. But our job is not done yet because we need to create a range, uh, somehow the range. So we need to know roughly the range, like the soil science score from where to where. So that we can go to the SPS output. We can see that. For the social science score, it's roughly from 26 to 71. So that's the range we're going to use in the, so we can say that we create a range. It's called 26, 71. So that's the range. And then we create, so we copy this male and female again here. We got that. And then, okay. So why do we need these two? The reason why I needed these two, we need to um, create we need to have the reason why we need this to create a new one because we are going to use um, the, these two numbers. Okay, now we're going to say that this is a B0. Remember, it's just a plus this variable times this. So this is the uh, the social score, the minimum, and we time the slope. Yes, intercept slope. Yes, basic idea. And so that's it for this, uh, you can say yes. And then we'll do it again. We say that this is intercept plus this to times this. So keep the intercept and slow the same, but, change, but incorporate these two number. And actually you can just like break the, because they will just use these two, but exactly the same two. Uh, I guess we are not D8. Okay, sorry, no. So it is with D8, but, and then E8, uh, G6, we're going to create. So as you can see, there is a slope plus these two times them together, yes. G6 times slope, okay. 43, okay, let me do it just manually. Don't try to be too smart. Great. Now we have the four points. So each, remember, a line can be determined by two points. Yes, we learn the basic math. 
from grade school so and then okay now we select all this so select all this for and then insert the line okay that looks close to this but not exactly when you look this looks pretty here that needs some some okay let's delete the background we also do not need the title okay that looks better um, we also need to change the range. Uh, how can I do that? Okay, yes, on the trademark. So click here, click on the trademark. So you right click and then format this and then select the trademark. But another thing is that Okay, so I mean, this is a bit interesting because I always have difficulty how to adding the different like numbers at the x axis. And the solution is that you right click and then go to the format axis and then choose the date. And then you can choose the major file. In that way, you can add an interval. I could not find another way to do that, but that's, it seems that's the way you can work. It may work to add an interval. And okay, so this is the major issue in that we need to sort, and then you just okay that this part is easy. There we go. As you can just like add a light. So solid light, book black color, and then we can also black black, but we want to use different light. For instance, like this, and this is also black. Sorry, like now we're kind of close to this format, and then we also would like to. So, the female now we want to, yes, okay, so that now we add it to be here, yes, um, so that looks great. Um, can also no fill transparent no light border light that way. Then when we copy to the word document other place, it will look more nice. Okay, so um, another thing is that how can we add a line like this? So this is very simple. Uh, insert shape and then light and we are. So what does this mean? This is the cut off point. Yes, the 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 cut off point I mentioned earlier. So roughly what. 60 something like that so it should be somewhere like this okay another thing you mentioned you can see that the starting point not necessarily this is zero this is 30 yes so you can change the starting point look that this gap bigger you know not necessarily that important but you one can do that so that's 30 so Okay, now it's starting from 30 rather than 0, yes. Okay, so now you can like 6, 60, something like that. It should be like somewhere here. You don't have to be very precise, but and then we choose the dream color. Okay, that's it. I think this is good. You can then you can insert a text box to say, that, okay, this is S O O C S T equal. This is what we need, the cutoff point. Okay, last piece of this is that we need to draw this. Sometimes you see some papers doing that, yes. Okay, how can we do that? This is a, a some trait, so it's a insert, again we insert the shape, and then come to be here. So this option, free form shape. And so this is not, this is more like, okay, this doesn't look great. Let me try again, insert, Free form shape. So 
this starting point to change the click here and here 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 okay so let's just use the face shape the the free form shape okay then pattern pattern fill you can choose the pattern you like uh, I think that's good and change the color whatever color you like like gray maybe and so if you like this guy in black or gray I think it looks both are looks great you can change it a bit make it looks nice and of course you can change the phone color make it to 12 maybe that's look and change the phones the phone uh, you can change the phone here as well to make it okay we also need to add the uh, the notation for it so you can ask the next okay then this is what this is the soc so this is what soc as t as so so size score and then 12 again and then tom change the font size color black yes and this is what writing yes and black yes you can change the other other phone side okay so that's it mission accomplished so now you, I show you how you can use Excel to plot the Johnson name as you can see that so below this cargo point male and female are different so in general female have higher writing score compared to male when the source size score is below 60 but about then male and female do not really differ in terms of the writing score okay thank you for watching if you really enjoy this video learn something then hit the like button and also consider subscribing to my channel thank you